What's up guys, welcome to a new video. Today I'm using my new light I bought from Walmart. Um, hopefully it looks pretty good. It'll definitely help in low light situations. So I'm trying it out for this YouTube video. Let me know if it looks good, bad, any suggestions. I'm trying to figure out my camera settings in this light. But today's video is going to be on why you're not getting muscle. Uh, there's multiple reasons why this could be. So today I'm going to get into all of those. The first reason you might not be gaining muscle is because you're not eating enough. In order to gain muscle, you need to be in a caloric surplus. This means you're eating more calories than you burn. So you simply need to eat more maybe. That might be one solution. Um, and if you're wondering how many calories you should eat, first you gotta figure out your maintenance, which is how many calories you burn on a basis. And then you have to increase or decrease if you want. Decrease if you want a deficit to lose fat. Increase if you want to build muscle by 300 to 500 calories. So if you want to figure out your maintenance calories, I'll link a video up here that I made before on it. And I'll also put a calculator in the description of this video on how to calculate it for yourself or get a general idea. The second most important, these first two reasons are the most important. The second reason is you're not getting enough protein. Ideally, you want to shoot for one gram of protein per pound of body weight per day. So because I weigh about 190 pounds, I always try to shoot for 190 pounds uh, or 190 grams of protein per day. Now, I don't always hit that. Sometimes I'm above it, sometimes I'm below it. That's why I say shoot for one because it averages out and it'll be nice and get you that how much protein you need. Um, and for these first two reasons, this is why I recommend tracking your calories or tracking what you eat. Uh, not really like worrying about what you're eating, just like, okay, I had a Pop-Tart, we're gonna enter that in. So you get a good idea of how many calories you're consuming, how many grams of protein you're consuming, because chances are you don't even know. Um, you're probably way off what you're guessing. Like, I bet you're not getting enough protein. If you're not getting muscle, I bet there's a 99% chance you're not getting enough calories and or you're not getting enough protein. So I recommend using my fitness pal to track your food. It's super easy. Um, just to get a general idea of how many calories and how many grams of protein you're having on a daily basis. On to the next reason, you might not be training intensely. Your body needs to have that muscle building signal sent to it. And to do that, you need to train intense and progressively overload. So that means um, following a specific plan, um, progressively overloading, this plan should have it where you're increasing weight by like five pounds, try to each week, to try to get more weight or more reps or better form each week. So it's continuing to send that muscle building signal uh, to your body so that you will grow. Um, and if you want my help, I make workout programs and I have my workout programs that I follow. You can literally work out with me for pretty cheap a month. I might actually lower the price on that, but check out my website, grantjohnsonfitness.com in the description down below um, so I can help you um, work on your training, but you need to train intensely um, to send that muscle building signal. That leads me into my next reason you're not getting muscle is because you're not resting enough. Just like you can undertrain, you can overtrain. Now, if you're sore after each workout, like you're constantly sore from working out, chances are you're working out too frequently and too intensely. You're overtraining because you should not be sore all the time. Um, that's just a signal your body's trying to tell you that something's wrong. You shouldn't be sore all the time. A little bit of soreness here and there, that's okay, but you should not be sore all the time. So overtraining, you need to give, say you hit legs today, you need to give that body part at like a day or two's rest uh, to recover and rebuild. So uh, that means you don't hit chest today and chest tomorrow because you don't have time to rebuild and repair to actually build muscle. Um, just like you want to do legs today and legs tomorrow, always give a day or two of rest in between each body part. So that'd be look like maybe you do upper body today and then you do legs tomorrow and then you can hit upper body again because you gave that day of rest. Uh, also, try not training to failure. If you're sore all the time, uh, back off your training. Instead of going to failure in every single set, every single um, exercise, try not training to failure. Go to you still have one or two reps in the tank. Um, and this will help a lot. And also sleep, you need sleep. Sleep is arguably the most important factor in any aspect of health. You need to get ample amount of sleep so your body can recover, repair itself, and build that muscle. If you don't get enough sleep, it's just gonna be so taxing on your body and it can have drastic negative effects on various different health functions aside from building muscle. So sleep is super necessary. Shoot for seven to nine hours every night. Next up, you might be doing too much cardio. 
If you're doing cardio first before you lift weights on any day or do resistance training, your body's going to send that signal to adapt to the cardio. So therefore, your body, by, your body will be working on endurance more than it is muscle building because you're doing too much cardio, sending too much signal there. So back off the cardio, and if you want to do cardio, do your resistance training, lifting weights first, so the signal goes there, and then the extra signal will go to uh, your endurance and cardio. Now this one is a big one. Consistency is key. You might not be consistent enough to build muscle. It takes more than one day or even one week, sometimes more than months, to build muscle and see results. It's all about consistency, and if you take breaks or skip workouts or skip exercises, you're not gonna see the results you want. You need to be consistent, follow the program if it's a good one, um, so that you're actually seeing the results you want, because consistency is key. Next up, you might just have poor form. Uh, this would mean that you're not utilizing your muscle in the movement properly. It's not getting the right contraction, so you need to work on your form. Form always comes first. Um, before you get into anything in resistance training, lifting weights, any exercise, you need to work on your form so it prevents injury and can help you get the greatest benefits. Someone who has bad form is going to get less muscle building benefits from doing a squat, say, than someone who has great form. It's going to be easier if you have better form to build muscle and feel the contractions and the mind to muscle connection. So this means quit ego lifting. You might just be like, oh, I just wanna increase weight every single week, like, I'm trying to increase weight, increase weight, but you're sacrificing your form. I did this for a long time, I think this is one of the most common mistakes any beginner or new person in the gym makes. Um, your ego lifting, don't worry about the weight for a while, focus on your form. The weight will come once you get your form down. I wish I spent more time on this when I first started lifting, uh, so I didn't have to do it later on. Um, I still am working on it actively, but Work on your form first because it's going to help you the most overall prevent injury and build muscle. Form comes first. Now the second to last reason you might not be gaining muscles is because you're not changing it up. I mean workout wise, rep range wise. If you're just constantly training in the five rep range on all your exercises, your body's going to get used to it. It can get used to a certain stimulus so it might be helpful to switch into now I'm going to go 8 to 12 rep range or now I'm going to instead of doing my bodybuilding type workouts I'm going to go into powerlifting focus on strength um, just switching up your workouts and exercises every three to five weeks can be beneficial to help your body like oh we have a new signal we actually need to continue building like we're not used to this signal so I always say every three to five weeks you switch up your training um, style sort of uh, into a new block that's how I do it now I lied that was the last reason but I can help you. If you want my help, I have a website down below um, where I offer workout programs, custom programs. You can also just DM, follow me, DM me, comment on my stuff. I answer and I continue to try to push out content like this that's helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, I love to answer them and I'll even make a video if you want me to. Um, I just want to help you guys, so I'm here to help come to me if you have any questions but thank you for watching the video i hope this helped you out let's get to building muscle guys it's time to get huge for the summer baby but all right thanks for watching have a great day i'll see you in the next one goodbye